Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to show you how virtual copies, snapshots and stacking are absolutely incredible in Lightroom. Theme tune. Do 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 do. Big fox, big box, little box, cardboard box. Big fish, little fish, cardboard box. Do 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 do. That was me boxing, stacking, you know. It's linked today's link to today's tutorial. Anyway, so Lightroom has all these different ways of making collections in your library and different things, but in the develop module, there are some massively powerful things that often people skip over that can make your creative process and journey amazing. So let's jump into Lightroom and I'm gonna talk you through a few things. So today we're only gonna use this image here of um, Josh Strickland, who I shot a few months ago for the cover of a Q magazine here in Vegas, in I think the whole USA actually. But anyway, so let's say, so we're in the develop module, okay, I'm actually gonna make my film strip nice and large so we can see what we're doing today down here. So we're gonna look at a few different things. The first thing is snapshots. So this is the image here, and what we can do is say we make it edit on this, okay? So for an edit, I'm just gonna use one of my own presets quickly, and I'm gonna go fashion pack, and let's go, I don't know, fabulous matte, okay? That looks wonderful. Now, I might like this, but then go, well, what I wanna do is I wanna do a little bit of tweaking, okay? So I might want to boost this here a little bit and add this, but then how do I go back to what I already did? Now I can hit Command Z and Command Z, and I've gone back but then I've got to jump forward and backwards all the time. So instead, what I can do is this. I can use snapshots at the top here. And what it essentially does is it takes a snapshot of the image right now with all of these edits in this moment. So if I hit plus, it makes a snapshot and automatically see it puts the date and the time in for this snapshot. So I often leave the date and time in and then I might name it as well, which will be like, um, edit style one, for example. And then what I can do is I can go, yes, what I want to do is I wanna pull the vibrance down and I do want to bring my blacks back actually a little bit down here and boost my contrast, okay? I do like that. Okay, so then I can go like, oh yeah, oh, I keep doing this with the, there you go. Oh yeah, I really like this too. So now I can create another snapshot, okay? And I can do style two. Okay, then hit create. And now if I look on the side here, watch, I've got, if I reset the image completely, I can then go style one. Oh, I like that, style two. I like this. And so what it's done, in history, I still have all the different things that I've actually been doing on the image. But what I really have is now I can go back in time and look at my snapshots. That makes it massively, massively powerful when editing. But, the challenge is, what if I want to export this version of the image, but also this version of the image? Now, just using snapshots, I would then have to go right-click, export, export it, then hit the other one, right-click, export, and export it, which is, you know, great, but it's kind of tedious. So instead, I can do this. I can go right-click, and I can go create virtual copy. Now this is really important with virtual copies. It is what it says, a virtual copy. It is not duplicating it on your hard drive. So this file is, for example, uh, 80 megabytes in size. It's not then duplicating that and making another 80 megabyte image. All it's doing is it's creating just a tiny little Lightroom file that sits on top to tell them what this edits is. That is what has changed. And it's made another one. So it's, you know, tiny, 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 like, a kilobyte or something, nothing. And I can do this as many times as I want. So for example, now in each one of these ones, I have snapshot one and snapshot two. So I can go to this one and go for snapshot two. So now if I was to hit export on these, it would export both versions, which is really powerful because it means that now I can go for another snapshot. So let's have a, so sorry, another virtual copy and I'll reset the image completely. Then let's go to presets. I'm gonna add a completely different one. I'm gonna go for, uh, let's go for the fashion, oh, I already did the fashion pack, didn't I? So summer creations. 
Let's go nice and bright like this, which is called bright, which I like. Oh, actually, let's go for summer sweetness. Okay, so now this one, watch, we've got image number one, which was the first one, image number two, and now image number three, all as virtual copies. Now I can, let's make another one for fun. Let's make another virtual copy, and I'm gonna go for, um, what shall I have here? Let's go for washed and washed alt. That's not that much different. I wanna create, let's create something really different, cinematic, and we'll do it with a letter box. Sorry, no letter box, but we'll go purple. It's not gonna look great, but that's what it is. So we have now one, two, three, four different versions of this image. I can now export this in all of my virtual copies, one single image that it's using to reference to get four different versions. And this is brilliant. However, now the challenge is, in my timeline, I now have four versions of this image, which if I was to have 20, that's gonna get a little bit frustrating with all of these edits. So you might think, well, that's where snapshots is good because snapshots, just sit on the side panel here. However, now we have something called stacking, and this is amazing. So all we do is we select all four images, we go right click, and then we go to stacking. And then we just go group into stack. Click here, and then what's gonna happen is, you can see you've got the one of four here, and now all of these at the bottom say virtual copies, and then it says four of four, three of four, two of four, one of four. If I, double, if I click on that, what it does is all of those images are now sitting underneath this first image. So now as I scroll through, I just have that image, that image, and then just the next one. I don't have all of those images. But if I click on the number four, now if I scroll through, it has actually opened up my stack. So what happens if I'm like, well, I like my stack, but when it's closed, I want a different image on top. Well, again, easy. Select the one that you want, right click, under stacking, you just have to go to move to top of stack. Click on that and automatically that one is now jumped. So when I close it, it's now got this one at the front of the stack. Massively powerful. Now, what if you want to get rid of these? What if you don't like them? Okay, well easy. You click on the one that you don't want to get rid of, you hit delete and it'll say remove this selected virtual copy, remove. And then, so if I do this on each one, but look at this one, this one was the original. So now I can decide to delete it, or I can say, you know what? I wanna keep the original. I just know that the other two are virtual copies, and I can just delete those ones. The original file hasn't been touched, and now I just have one version. Okay, so I'm gonna go through this one more time so that you can understand how powerful it is. You have snapshots, which is essentially, as you're editing, you can go, I like it at this point, I'm gonna make more edits but now I can always step back to here. And then you can keep on making more edits and you can keep stepping back in time, looking at your editing process, which is absolutely amazing. But if you want multiple versions of the same image with different edits on, you then right click and create a virtual copy. Multiple versions of the same image, but that's only in Lightroom so you're not wasting hard drive space. Now make multiple edits on all of those different images and then it looks fantastic. So as you export, it will export all of the different versions. The final thing, if you don't want them all to be in your film strip so that you've got 20 of the same image, you then select them all, right click, stacking, and then create um, add to stack. And then you just click the little button in the top corner where it says one of four or two of four or one of eight or whatever. And then it will shrink that down and essentially hold them a little bit like a stack on your table, like you have a stack here and I go, oh, that's one edit, that's another edit, and that's another edit. But you can stack them all up so that you don't waste too much space. So that there is how you, how you use snapshots, virtual copies, and stacking inside Lightroom. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe and leave me a comment if you have any thoughts whatsoever. This was Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com. Booyah. They always say booyah.